Hi, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to mount external hard drives that are based on a logic volume manager, uh, such as Linux, most Linux uh, newer Linux distributions, as well as Mac. Uh, they all use LVM nowadays. So I'm just going to show you uh, how to retrieve data off one of these uh, drives. This is uh, one of the little gadgets that I have. should be in everyone's arsenal that deals with computers. Uh, it's a Sabrent uh, IDE SATA adapter rather than using a live video from my cam video camera I just figured I'd just show you help give some business to Tiger Direct here so you can see here's uh, IDE and that's for the two and a half it's very small it's not very big as you can t judge here by the USB connection and there's for your serial ATA it also does come with this little cable here uh, so if you're going to be using a serial ATA you just plug that into this little gadget, plug it into some power, and now you have an external USB drive. So we're going to get started here. Uh, I'm just going to plug in my drive. It already should be enabled. You'll notice it here. Now obviously, uh, there's not a whole lot you can do with this because we haven't mounted this particular uh, uh, volume. So if you have an external drive and uh, you have it connected to your computer, you're not going to be able to get any data. This is just the boot, the boot partition. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unmount this. Okay. Then we're going to bring up the terminal. Right. So this is where I usually like to mount my external devices do an LS in here obviously don't have anything so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to create a mount point for our external drive so I'm going to make there first I need to switch user to root sorry I'm going to make their USB okay so now you can see here uh, we have a USB directory and that's going to be our mount point now that we've unmounted our external USB drive we want to do a PV scan on it just to pick up some uh, extra information. Launch PV scan. So you'll see here I have SDA SDA2 VG Optron. So that's my local machine that I'm currently streamcasting this on. The the one above it, the SDB2, obviously that's uh, the external hard drive. So that's the one we we want to work with. And the volume group name for it uh, is just volume group 00. So now that we have that basic information we want to make this particular uh, drive active so the command for that is VG change and we're going to go volume group double O dash A Y okay so that volume group is now active uh, and just as a precaution never work on your local drive okay so now that we have that, let's do an LV scan. I'm just going to clear this. Let's do an LV scan, which obviously stands for a logical volume scan. And here you can see, again, these are from my local machine right here. And these are the two we want to work with. So this one, again, from the external drive will most likely be the boot partition. But we want to work with this one here off our external drive. So what we want to do is we want to mount that to our mount point. So I'm just going to change directory up from here into root. So we want to mount device volume group double O. We want to capture this name, which is right here. Okay. Oops. So double O, and the mount point is the one that we created. Choose media USB. Okay, so that drive should be mounted. And I'm just going to zoom out of here so you can see. And of course, everything gets all picked up. So if we want launch our uh, file manager here, Nautilus, you should know. So let's pick these drives up. Okay, so you have two options. You can try to go through here, but it won't work because you'll need to be a root user. So if you go to the home directory now, again, you can see this is a mount point that we're at. So here's uh, the home directory on my external hard drive that we had just mounted with some of my user accounts. 
So I'm going to go back into here and change, change directory media USB. Do an ls. Okay, so there's home. Let's do an ls la home. And there's our user accounts. So now that we're a root user, we have this external drive mounted and we're, root, and we're a root user. We have full access to this drive. So if you want to do a backup, say, of all the users uh, that were present on here and their data, probably the easiest is just to make sure that you're grounded. So we're in the media USB. That was our mount point for this external drive. I'm just going to clear that. Guitar. And I'm going to copy this to the root directory and I'm going to call it old home. And what we want is home. Okay, so if we do an ls la our home directory, and there we go. There's our old home.tar. Zoom in here again. Let's uh, just show you the disk size here, or how much space was used. Um, okay, so about 31 megabytes. If we do uh, on home, 51. So with a little bit of compression, when we tarred that up, we saved about 20 megs, which is not too bad. So you can imagine how much you can save by using tar. Uh, to get that out of there. So that's pretty much it. If you want to unmount the device, you can either do it from in here or you can do it from the command shell. Might be easier if we just do it through here. So usually you want to be at a mount point. So we could be in media and it's you mount media USB. Hit her again just for kicks. Unplug your device. You should be all set. And uh, again, this tool is super handy. I recommend it to everyone to purchase one of these, especially if you want to back up some extra data um, on a hard drive or a failed machine. Now, of course, obviously, this wouldn't work for an encrypted hard drive. If you're using full disk encryption, being able to mount and unmount an external drive that was based on LVM, you're not going to be able to do that. But um, this will also work on Mac. You need to install another utility, I believe, in Linux to be able to, uh, to mount HFS. But uh, it, works in pretty, it works pretty handy. So I hope this helps, and uh, good luck. Bye now.